and here we are with the second streamed match of today and the sixth match, uh, round of 16 match overall. Joining me again is Kumichi Crew, who will be joining us in a few minutes, I believe. Jesus back. And hello. Back again. Hey. How you been doing this last time? No. <laughs> it's been a good time. I am happy that we can finally start. We have here <laughs> Trev Rasher versus Enka. Seated 17 versus seated 48. This is gonna be an interesting match. And I do I count on you, Enka. Yes. Nope. I'm not cheering for someone, nope. <laughs> totally not. So, yeah. Both players are three digits, although that doesn't matter that much. It's gonna yeah, be a bit more yeah, time. it's gonna be a bit more balanced out than the last match that we had <coughs> with I hope so. <laughs> yes, with Hello Watcher and Yui Bot. And I hope it it's gonna be a bit more interesting. Alright, so both players are right now deciding on a hmm, what happened there all right so the warm-ups are starting it's gonna be Trevor Asher versus Enka on the map amputator and here we go I find it funny Some the dumb. the whole trend with Trevor Asher, Trevor Shear, Trevor Shore, and all of those names. It's a fun collab, to say the least. Have you also noticed that a lot of in a lot of tournaments, there just pop up these names with Trev, Trev, and then Rasher. Oh, and break from Trevor Asher. So yes, what do you want to say? Um, well... <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, I don't map so I can't tell much. Yes. But hey, there's a canyon. It's need to need for Enka. Oh my bad! <coughs> Surprised that we haven't seen any Mimi warm ups yet. These were, yeah. so far, all pretty good warm ups, I'd say. 
Let's see if that changes anytime soon. So this is the first warm-up, right? Yes, this is the first warm-up. Yeah. So maybe uh, we'll see a maybe map. We'll see. We'll see indeed. So what are your predictions for this match? Who do you think is going to win? Yeah. Without being biased. Um, objectively speaking, I don't know, both players are really good by the same rank. So, I can't really tell, but I have, you know, um, as I said, I've been uh, refing and kind uh, yeah, I hope he will win. Um, I'm pretty unbiased because I don't know uh, the players very well, but I know that Trevor Asher has a history of being pretty good. Check you've been making point for Enka. Yes, yes. Um, that's automatic, by the way. Oh, okay. I'm currently staying at my Solomon client, so can't really tell yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think slow internet is kind of annoying because those two takes a while to update. and sing it on it. By the way, what are your opinions so far about the map pool? Yeah, uh, I've been playing this map pool. Um, I must say, some maps are very easy. Uh, as you may know, I'm only 40k. Yes. And I could imagine me uh, seeing some maps, so yeah, the players should be. Yes, especially that HR1, be. that first HR map, that, that's a very. Hard one. I hate HR maps. I know I've been playing a lot of tournaments recently, and I always ban HR maps, like one hundred percent. This this should, this would give a, a free point to my opponent. Yeah, and especially with a two hundred forty ppm map, that that's that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And we're gonna see a Toho map picked as warm up. Interesting. Yeah. And topical. Now that's a big ass schnoz on that mask. Actually, both picking BT. Interesting choice of warm up. Yeah, high BPM map as a warm up. Rasher actually nailing all of these bursts. Break from Inca. Two breaks. Bit of short aim from Trevor Rasher. Beautifully. Whoa. Yeah. The best can move. I don't know how to say. I bet English vocabulary. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is talking about circles being quick. Yeah. <laughs> Not that hard so far. Yeah. By the way, a huge lead for Tradition. Yes. This map. Oh no, stream buffering. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Oh, <laughs> I think has, Enka has given up. 
Yeah. And Kai actually yeah. dies in the warm up. Hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a pretty hard map, so I can't blame them. <coughs> No, I was about to say it's Very nice to Chris are dancing from Enka here. It's be beautiful <laughs> execution. Wow. <laughs> Shakes, man. <laughs> Alright, and, and thus begins the match. The real match. We have been waiting for. There we go. We're gonna see a fifty-three IQ roll from Enka. <laughs> Winning the roll. Yes. I hope we're gonna see some tiebreaker this round. I mean, yeah, tiebreaker is very interesting to, to yes. play. Especially That's a very hard map. You gotta be consistent. But those those cut bursts are a bit they're a bit tricky. Alright, we're gonna see FM4. Or well, not for the official Toho. Never mind. This is this is the wrong map. Uh professional ref. <laughs> Boom, they him. Absolutely picked for uh, FM3. Alright, so 4 mod 4 norm normally, or 3 mod 4, normally should be, yes, this is it, the <laughs> official Toho OST of this pool, of this round's pool. It has oh, really? very high CS and it has some cut bursts, so um, Hard Rock would not be very advised. Although I believe both players could pull it off if they played at their best. Here we go. Have you tried this map? I have not tried this map yet, but after looking at some replays, this this seems pretty hard. All right, none yeah, of the players is. picking any mod. So this will be probably like a battle. Yes. I mean, there's some hard parts, so it could be. It could also be a combo battle. We are both players holding in the C and in the set right now. Oh, no, never mind. Both players <laughs> have the same accuracy right now. The score flickering between the two. Just waiting for someone to break. Or to lose accuracy. If this continues, this could be a spinner battle, which be which would be pretty funny to see. Yeah. Over halfway done, and they're still at the same accuracy, and almost at the same score. No, um, I'm, as I said, playing tournaments and. I've edited my skin so that um, no, the rankings of the map uh, in the bottom right hand corner 
Yeah, we, when you see fast second, fast second. And preferential it, drops it. accuracy. Giving oh. the lead to Enka. And he... Both players dropping accuracy, MK dropping more accuracy than Trevor Asher, so Trevor Asher is back at the top. This will be a crazy match. Only the end could say... And Trevor Ooh. Asher slider breaks, thus making MK the winner of this round. Oh gosh, if the whole match is going like this, this will be crazy. Yes, indeed. And I sincerely hope that we're gonna see a tiebreaker. That would be very interesting. So, sick egg from both players, by the way. 99 and more. And we're gonna see a DT1. A very hard map, in my opinion, that requires a lot of finger control. Enka actually wants yeah, I think... to surrender. <laughs> this is definitely a map in the favor of Trevor, a Trevor Asher. Yeah. Explain why he picked it. I'm just willing to surrender. Okay, so apparently the reason why no one picked mods in that last free mod was because of Cla uh, Bancho. Oh, really? Yes. And so, the second match begins. The 250 BPM finger control map that I think is probably the hardest map in the pool. This will be fast, man. Yeah, and rough start from Enka. Yes. And breaks, yeah. yeah. I think 10% less, less accuracy. I think this isn't his best map at all. Yes. Pretty sure. That gives a huge advantage to Trevor Asher, who is still holding an, S uh, an FC and a. 98% accuracy. Enka is slowly, slowly building up his accuracy. Now going over 90% multiple times. And he breaks again. match will tie the whole match. This would be very interesting to see. Yes, definitely. Both players have very different skill sets that will probably um, lead to a tiebreaker, at least I hope so. And we're uh, more than halfway done. Unless Trevor Shad was failed, I think this and is it. And Enka gives up. Yeah, yeah. Okay.
so yeah, this is a point for Trebrecha. And that makes the score tied. Next pick is Ancus. So I think he won't be picking any uh, DT map. Definitely. Seems not to be his best mod. Yeah, and it's an FC from Trevor Asha with 98% accuracy. Nearly on the dot. So I'm gonna guess that he's gonna pick free mod 2. Let's go with that. Mm. I think Enka is going for that uh, consistency. Told you. Well, man, you're, you're you're in his mind. That's that's what I always do during tournaments. I analyze my opponents and look at what they what they're good at. So. Yeah, I've also been doing this. And I've this is gonna be the. Oh, sorry. No, never mind. Go ahead. And this is gonna be the longest map in the pool by far, almost double the uh, length of the other maps, but it's only se uh, like second to the tiebreaker. It's a consistency map, which is why I guessed this map, and it has a bit higher CS than normal, like uh, it's CS 4.5. They're discussing a bit. And apparently NCAT chose the wrong map. Wait, what? I think he mistook Formal 2 for another map. A uh, free mod, sorry. I don't know why I always say four mod. <laughs> So, okay. Must be my Moroccan jeans. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not quite getting what's happening. Alright, so Enka just um, mistook the free mod 2 for another map, and now they were discussing it. So my guess was actually wrong. Sad. <laughs> oh, and we're still gonna see that map. This map? Oh. Yes. He changed his mind. And here we go. So yeah, as you said, a, a consistency map. Yes. We're starting off with a slight accuracy lead for Trevor Asher. But this is a very long map or four minute map. So, yeah, everything could change easily. Especially with these jumps that are pretty easy to mess up with this, with this low or uh, high CS. Sorry. And we're gonna see the first break from Trevor Asher and followed by NK. Yeah, resetting the points. Yeah. Still a slight advantage for Trevrasha in accuracy. And Trevrasha loses a bit of accuracy, giving back the accuracy lead to Anka, who drops right after. 
<laughs> and the and the lead goes back to Trevor Archer. Both at the same accuracy right now, exactly the same. Yeah, but Trevor Asher has a 100 more uh, combo lead, so. Yes. Which is pretty Making significant. Difference. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh, in the break from Enka? I know I'm too late. Sorry. Oh. I just realized that. Professional commentator, by the way. Some accuracy. And end cow breaks again. Trevor Asher still holding on to his 400 combo. Yeah, and he's taking a huge lead with his uh, nice accuracy still. Yes. End cow losing a bit of composure, pressing a bit too early, and he breaks a lot. Yeah, the nerve, man. Trevor Asher still holding that 600 combo, still holding his composure. We're more than halfway done. The score difference between the two is around 160,000. Yeah, Trevor Asher has lost twice uh, Annika's call. It's twice now. Enka slowly building up his combo again. Just hoping for Trevor Asher to break, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Not over yet. We're at the last quarter of the map. Enka actually regained a bit of his composure again. And just as I yeah, say that, he drops massively in act. <laughs> the commentator curses then. <laughs> and he breaks. And this point, this round goes to Trevor Asher. Which, would, which will affect the mentality of Enka a bit because it was his pick. And yeah, he's exactly. instantly gonna be Trevor Rusher's pick again. Who breaks actually and almost dies. Cursor dancing this now. He's getting very cocked because he has more than twice the score. He, need, he needs to still uh, be careful. And the round goes yeah, to Trevor yeah. Rusher. 2 to 1. Ending with a spectacular cursor dancing. Next pick is for Trevor Asher. Who picks HR1, the high BPM short map. Yeah, anything can happen in this map. Yes. And it's probably gonna go to Trevor Asher because he is, from the looks of it, a speed player. Yeah, we saw it on the on the warmups. Yes. Thinking about this, I think I have a tournament in about well, half an hour. Ooh. This should be okay. Yes. Still, I may need to warm up. Yeah, who needs warm up? Yeah, but man, I've been losing to Kyle Dory in quarterfinals. Oh, yeah. He's a very good player. Oh, I always lose to, to her. Like, I've lost to her in semi-finals in the Snowfall Cup, 
Um, I've lost there. I've lost in uh, 2v2 finals in Excel 15. So yeah, we do have some match history together. Yes. And here we go. Here we go for the fourth map in this match, which is a slight advantage for Trevor Asher, who specializes in speed. Starting off with an low accuracy for MK. Dropping below 90%. Drop from a uh, yeah, drop a uh, break from Trevor Asher. Oh yeah, making no, the uh, score uh, lead go to NK. Has three less percent yes. accuracy. But as he's holding his combo, he does take the lead. Yes. Oh, massive act drop from NK, putting him back at one ninety one percent. The, clo the score is very close, and Trevor Asher could still um, catch up since score v2 is very based on, on accuracy. Yeah. On accuracy, yes. And Trevor Asher breaking again in the last quarter of the match, or the map. Yeah, that's. Resulting in an Enka unexpected too. lead from Enka. Oh, break from Enka. Didn't even this would be a close map too. Ah oh, no, not like this. But Trevor Asher doesn't have enough time, and the point yeah, goes to NK, resulting another hmm. in another tie, two to two. Only forty k point difference. Yes, resulting in a difference of forty k, almost forty one thousand. Still a very good accuracy from Trevor Asher. Yes. Compared to the 90.8%. Oh, actually, the, yeah. <laughs> the breaks from Trevor Asher were all um, slide breaks. Unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate. Free mod 1. The AR8 free mod. We're probably gonna see some HR. Maybe not both players. But at least one HR. I guess Enko is picking HR. Maybe HDHR. That w that that could be possible. Yes, as said before, this map has a pretty tricky middle part with some really weird bursts that are pretty easy to break on, especially with high nerves. And we're gonna see the round begin. NK actually, or uh, NK picking HDHR like you predicted, and Trevor yes. Asher only HR actually. So much player goes to NK. We'll see if he's, he's able to all these icon combo. Yeah. At the moment, Trevor Asher is leading thanks to his higher uh, accuracy. Both players at the same accuracy right now. Trevor Asher dropping a bit. And small lead for NK, thanks to his multiplayer.
but the decider of this map is this part, this middle part. Yeah. Dropping a little bit, a little bit of accuracy from Anka. But he's still in the But lane. he's assessing this hard path. Oh god. And both players both actually play have C. Yeah. Trevor Ashley had a slight accuracy lead of 0.5%. But Anka's still leading thanks to his hidden multiplayer. And we're entering the last quarter of this uh, of this map. The close, the score is very close. Yeah, unless a break, this will be very close, but for Enka, thanks as we said before to use multiplier. And this will probably be it for Enka. And yes, Enka wins this round and takes in the lead. The lead. Very close accuracy with Enka, uh, with Trevor Asher having one less 100 than Enka. It's still Trevor a very Asher, close match. Yes. Trevor Asher picking DT2. The yeah, as we. As we said, I think Enka is having some trouble with DT. Yes, but this ma uh, but this is only 210 BPM, so he could still win this, especially after his performance in HR1. We saw that he can play DT. Need to check something real quick. So yeah, we go slight lead from Elka. Going up to ninety eight percent now. Both players at the same accuracy right now. The score, f the score flickering between the two. In this round, Enka won't have the accuracy or the combo advantage thanks to multiplayer. So he's oh and break from Enka, giving the lead to Trevor after. Another break from Enka. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, unless a huge break from Trevash and dropping accuracy loss. Yes. And we're entering the last but quarter of the map. Oh, the map. He needs to be a very good player, very good TT player. Man. Yes. slowly building up his combo but this it won't be enough. No. We already went over one million points. And Trevor Asher gains his third point, making the score a tie again. Tie again. This may go to tiebreaker. Let's hope. Let's RNG. And he's picking tits or get the fuck out. Or the fire track, sorry. <laughs> the 
graveyard with map of the pool. Which is 220 BPM. Single tapable, but also altable. And he picks the wrong map again, apparently. Mm. Yeah, the chokes. How come? He does have the sheep, right? Oh, never mind. He's picking HDHR for this map. And Shabasha sight reading HR apparently. Yeah. And we're gonna see the next match start. Hard Rock or Hidden Hard Rock for NK versus Trevor Asher with HR. This is gonna be interesting. Very early break from Trevor Asher. Yeah, it doesn't really matter at this point. It just it's a pack to this. Yes. A break from Enka. Giving back the lead to Trevor Asher. And Trevesha drop pings in accuracy. Yes. And the score is still flickering between the two, thanks to the multiplier of hidden. Yeah, even though combos are. Ooh, some hidden. accuracy drops from both players. Thus making, or uh, thus bringing MK back to the accuracy lead. Yeah, Trevesha going below 97. Massive act drop from MK, but still higher than. The player below 96 now. Losing more accuracy. And Enka is still at a disadvantage because Trevor Asher has more than 100 combo more than him. Yeah, but don't, don't, forget, a... don't forget multiplier. Yes. But this could be a close match between the two. And is approaching. Little by little. Oof, act drop. <laughs> from both players. And we're entering the last quarter of the map. Anything could happen now. Any small mistake from Trevor Asher or Enka could decide this round. And end cut drops, thus giving the round to Trevor Asher. A close match once again, dude. Whew. Yes. And a, and a very late break from Trevor Asher, but that doesn't matter. It's no. match point for Trevor Asher. If Enka wins and the next match, which is, which is his proper map, or his own pick, if you win, uh, if Enka wins this, this would be, uh, this would result tiebreaker. result in tiebreaker. Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> it's a very close match. And he picks HD two. It's a pretty easy map, but the timings of the sliders are a bit tricky. With, uh, with score v2.
So yeah, Traversal's pick. It's not looking good for Enka. Yes, and both players will have the same multiplier now, so it's gonna be an Ack battle. Since this map is not particularly hard in the aiming department. And so, begins the round. It begins. Early act drops from both players. Enka in the lead. Yeah, slight advantage in maker. His accuracy. The score is flickering a bit. And NK breaks, thus giving the um, the lead to Trevor. The lead. Yeah, you're. I'm going a bit big brain mode right now. I'm forgetting words. By the way, it's Traversia and building up his accuracy. Yes, and then Cup breaks again. Oh yeah. It's not looking good. And Traversia is at an almost 1% accuracy lead. I fear we won't see a tiebreaker in this match. Yes. And Traversia breaks! In the last quarter oh. of the map, Enka yeah. has is at a very big disadvantage. So yeah. he could he he probably cannot regain the lead. He won't it, have much time be, to. Yes, it will be pretty close. And this is it. That concludes the match with a very late break for Enka and a win for Trevor Asher. Trevor Asher now moves up to the round of 32 and Enka goes to the loser's bracket. I wish... But don't forget the name. Yes? Don't forget Enka's name. I think we will probably see him later in the tournament. Yes. It could be possible that he moves up fairly. Uh, that he moves up fairly far in the round of 32. All right. Yeah, this, sorry, sorry. Yes, no problem. This concludes um, this match. We wish both players good luck in their respective rounds. And the next streamed match is going to be at 6 p.m. UTC. So, uh, see you until then. Bye bye.